So it may be really hard to see me right now, but if you peer really closely in the left side of your screen, you'll kind of see me waving my hand and walking out here in front of this bush. You might even see the reflection of a white T marker. So this video is on trying to figure out what T's should you play from. So this is the white T's up here and back where you are with the camera is actually the blue T's. And then up here, you may or may not be able to see on the screen, but there are some red tees. So traditionally, what you'll find on golf courses is this type of red, white, and blue combination. Normally, you would say, okay, well, the red tees are for the ladies. They're furthest up. White tees are for social men's play, and blue tees are for championship play. Well, <clears throat> that is traditional, so it's definitely worth explaining. But I can tell you that there's definitely a movement called tee it forward. And that particular movement is really to help you, the golfer, understand that you can actually play golf wherever you want to play. Now, that particular tee up there, even though it's marked red, we'll just refer to it as the forward tee. This one here, we'll refer to it as the back tee. <clears throat> the back tee on this hole is approximately 400 yards. So for myself as a golf professional, I'm supposed to make a par four on this hole. That means I need to be able to hit two shots of 200 yards or more uh, if, in order for me to reach that green. So 200 yards, that's obviously two lengths of a football field. So if you're just a beginner golfer, <clears throat> my challenge for you is try to shoot par. Okay, now par by definition is the score that's to be shot by a professional golfer. However, the time that it takes any golfer to strike the ball four times on a par four can actually be done the same at different distances. So for example, on the putting green, if you put your golf ball on the edge of the putting green and it takes you four putts to put it into the hole, on a par four, that's where you need to start. You need to start on the putting green and putt. Once you can make that particular distance in three shots, which would technically be a birdie, go ahead and move back. So in this case, on a 400 yard hole from here, you're actually starting on the putting green. Now, if you can hit your shot 50 yards, okay, you can then start 100 yards away, take two 50 yard shots. Now in this case, we may be talking about a brand new beginner golfer or a, a small like six, seven year old that can hit the ball really well 50 yards. If they're hitting the ball 50 yards and 50 yards and then two putting, that's still a par four. But if it still takes you three putts to get it in the hole, you only want to be 50 yards away because if you hit your 50 yard shot onto the green and then three putt, now you have a par four. So <clears throat> there's, there's a change that's coming in the rules of golf with regard to handicap and, and keeping a handicap. And really handicapping is for the purpose of playing competitive tournament golf, whether it's at the club level or whether it's at an expanded level at a regional or national or international level. So if you're not going to be playing golf in a competitive tournament environment, then it doesn't really make any sense for you to play by all the rules and play from the, the tees furthest back, like the blue tees. So play it this way. On a par four, you should make a four. If you have to stay on the putting green to make your four, or if you're able to come back, say, 300 yards, and you're able to hit two 150 yard shots to get yourself on the green and then successfully two putt, then 300 yards is a good distance for you. And one of the reasons for this is pace of play. Another reason is just general enjoyment. You're trying to be social and enjoying your time. You don't want to be hitting your ball into the desert and spending your entire day looking for golf balls. So <clears throat> here's how this works. If you and I are playing together and you're a beginner golfer, I might tee off at 400 yards away from the, the blue tees, and then you just sit in the cart. And we get in the cart and we drive up to my shot. I'll still have you know, 150 yards left or, or less, maybe 100 yards left if I hit a nice 300 yard drive. 
I have 100 yards in from there. If you want to get out of the cart and tee off from the 100 yards that I'm at, that's probably a good challenge for you as a beginner golfer to try to knock the ball on the green at 100 yards away and then you have three more shots to get your par, right? So par, we're using that just as an example, but for you to hit four shots in the same amount of time it takes me to hit four shots, that makes our day go a whole lot smoother and a lot more enjoyable. So hopefully this gives you a little bit of an indication as to what it means to play the golf course at your distance for your skill level and enjoy it. And don't worry about what anybody else says or does. Um, there's a tremendous misconception out there, so that's why I'm doing this video. So hopefully this helps you to get out on the golf course, have some fun, and enjoy playing better golf.